Welcome. This is the uh, Algebra 1 end of course practice test 2, which if you don't get it from your teacher probably came from the website. Um, the question says, well, question number 33 I should say, question number 33 says, which set of order pair represents a relation that is not a function? Now when I talk about functions in terms of whether relations are functions not or not, I talk about time travel. For me, uh, I always go back to the greatest time travel movie ever, uh, and some of you are going to say, no, no, it's got to be some sort of Doctor Who scenario, and I'm going to say, no, it's Back to the Future. And I love Doctor Who, don't get me wrong. But the reality is, uh, the biggest thing, that the worst thing that happened to Marty McFly is his mom tried to make out with him. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, if you haven't, it's not really as bad as you would think based on my explanation, but it's pretty bad. So in my universe, I always think, okay, I don't want to break the rules of time travel because I don't want that to happen to me. What I look at when I look at relations is their x values, or their independent variables, which would be the first set. Those represent time to me. So for me, my x, y relationship, my x represents time, or points in time, one moment. My y values always represent places to me when I think about whether something is a function or not. Now, I can be at the same place during different times, which is to say that I could be, like I was at school today. I was also at school last week. I'll probably be at school tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. So I can have this scenario where I have 1 and 5, 3 and 5, 6 and 5. Because all this says is at different times, I'm going to the same place. That's okay. I go home every day almost. So that's a functional relationship with time travel. So I can say that that relation would be a function. On the other hand, what I'm looking for in a non-functional scenario is where I go to more than one place at a time. So if this pops up a lot, I'm breaking the rules of time travel. Here, at the time of 4, say Monday, I'm at one place. On Thursday, which is the 3, I'm somewhere else. Unfortunately, again on Monday, or whatever I said 4 was, I'm at two places at one time in that exact moment. That could not happen. That's what happened to Marty McFly. If you saw the second one, he ends up back in the past twice, and he's watching himself, and then his mom tries to kiss him. It's all kinds of problems. You don't want that in your life. So in order to have a function, I need to have functional time travel. So I'm going to make sure that my data says that at each time period, I'm in a different place. So what I'm looking for in terms of my ordered pairs is I'm just going to look for x's that repeat with different, uh, with different y values or times that repeat with different places. Now, if I went to D here, I can see that at each one of these, I'm talking about a different time. Uh, negative 7, negative 1 half, 0 and 3 fourths, all different times in space. So I'm OK. I can go anywhere I want in those times, and that's OK. Functionally, time travel-wise, I'm good. C is the same thing. You'll notice that I'm in all different uh, time frames, but you will notice that in C, I'm going to the same place a lot. But we talked about that before. That's okay. You were at school today. You go tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. That's fine. You can go to different time. You can go to the same place different times. But really, I'm looking to see times repeat to tell me it's not functional. B, perfectly fine. I'm at different times every, every one of my data points, so that's good. It's where A that I fall apart and I'm not functional. So I'm going to go ahead and circle and then talk about it. As you can see, at time for the first one, I'm at negative 12. At that same exact time, or independent variable, I'm at a different place. And then the third one as well. And then the fourth one. If I were going back in time and that was happening to me, I'd try to stay away from my mother as far as possible because I don't want her to kiss me like Marty McFly. So the reality is I know that A is not a function because it's not functionally traveling. And I'm seeing that X pop up a bunch of times and relates to different Y values. So my answer to number 33 is A.